what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zaf and today we are back with episode eight of moving this one is called black last episode i feel like potentially gave us like the most information out of all the episodes so far biggest thing i want to talk about is bong suk's dad we finally got to see like what he looks like but we also saw that like dream that bong suk had of like his dad like in the sun or whatever like in the sky was actually a memory so that actually happened him and his dad were actually just flying up up in the clouds together and uh i mean yeah that just confirms that that's where bong suck's flight ability comes from um as of right now though frank is dead um he got in a fight with hisu's dad and i mean it was a it was an interesting fight it was pretty even throughout but then hisu's dad just took the edge at the end i don't know if frank's gonna come back i mean we got that whole backstory on the last episode so it makes it makes it feel like um He's more of a, like, main character. We're going to get more out of him. But uh, that was an interesting fight, and I hope to see more fights like that throughout the show. I mean, that was intense. And now that we know Gur Young Po is an absolute menace, I'm excited to see what happens. At the end, when they said Bong Suk's dad was ordered to come to South Korea, the video of Class Prez saving He So was what was on the table, the guy's table. So this... He's sending him here in response to that video. So I'm wondering, is he going to come for class prez? Like, what is the the goal here? Why would they come here in response to that video? I feel like it's like to get rid of maybe the class prez. I, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it before we do get into this episode. If you have been liking all the moving reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel and all our social medias. Make sure to check all those out. And with all that being said, we're going to get right into the episode. Moving, episode 8, Black. Let's do it. I think we're going to see his dad. We're about to see, yeah, for sure. Is his dad about to, like, Homelander this plane, bro? Like, what's about to happen? 1987. Like a bomb. He definitely sees his dad, Bong Suk's dad. <laughs> there he is. I don't like it, bro. I think he's gonna get a save the plane from the bomb. Oh, oh yeah, there was a bomb. I completely forgot. How do you even get in, though? Put the window down, <laughs> like, like you could. I mean, if he f falls off, he can just float back. Oh, that looks really bad. What's he gonna do with a gun? Ooh. Ooh, jet engines right there, bro. You better watch out. I mean, it's gonna blow up now. Yeah. Ah. Uh... He has to let go. He couldn't save them. Wow. Why was there a bomb on board? It was like a terrorist, I think. How would he even know that there was a bomb, though? How could he know that? I think whatever agency they probably, like, they all used to work for was probably some kind of intelligence agency. Kim Dushik, Amo Myung Bunsan, Uyangi Wu, Che Jung Yeplegiwa, Kwega Chumangan Kuk Bi Muga Chuojinda, Kwega Absoso, Sazan Gomjun Gwajon Gochebe. So this is how they met, was she was assigned a mission to, like, check him out? <laughs> well, she got pretty close to him. Got a baby with him. <laughs> oh, 
All right, right off the bat. Oh my God, it's Griongpo. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, it is in Dusik. Do okay, yeah, yeah. That's Dusik, and that's his mom in the middle. It's weird now with like this info because it seems like they were doing good jobs, right? Like yeah. he was trying to protect the plane from exploding. Mm -hmm. So why are they being hunted down? Were him and Gur Yongpo just like partners or something? <laughs> it looks like they it. They look like a duo. Hey, mm -hmm. he's looking back, showing some interest. It's like the same move every time. It's working. Dude, these two just look like badasses. Yeah. But if, I mean, if he's partners with Ger Yongpo, he has to be a tough dude. I mean, you want to talk to her, man, right? Maybe they're like hunting everyone that was affiliated with Dusik because he may be betrayed or something. I don't know. He's looking for her. Yep. Oh, yeah. Today's the day. You can hear from that far away. <laughs> Playing hard to get. I mean, guys got to be freaking lethal. He must be the one that taught uh, her how to shoot. She, We know she's a marksman now. Nah, they said that she was like crazy with the shooting. She passed Already? all, yeah, she passed oh, all of right. her exams she's, and stuff. She's she like, has bad eyesight. Yeah, she had an injury on her first mission. <laughs> Smooth move, bro. China? Who's two years ago? From our current time span or from the time we were watching? Like from the flashback. Uh oh. What are they planning here? Hmm. Black and yellow tea. There's, what is she doing here? That's probably the episode name, Yellow or Black. Well, she's okay, so they know she's in on that. She's in on this. Maybe this is how she went partially blind. Yeah, for sure. Didn't they tell that dude not to drink anything or eat anything? Oh, here we go. People are falling down. Did they just straight up poison everyone? Everyone that had a, probably like one of them. The yellow tea. Oh.
Oh, fuck. What a shot. Yep, I knew that was coming. I mean, they did kill a lot of just innocent people. I think they said it's been drugged, not poisoned. Oh. So people, I think people that drank it are fine. Okay, yeah. Because they had no clue. Oh. Ah. Uh. My guy didn't drink it. That's what she's doing with uh, Bong Suk's dad. She has to learn about his philo like philosophical views. And I think she has to learn if he's going to flip or not. That's the one that we just saw, the mm -hmm. seagull operation. <laughs> Is he falling up right now? When are you gonna- oh, boss. Boss. I don't know if that was literal or just like, what up boss? Yeah. Gary Young Po's gotta catch up. Like he obviously li like is looking for someone. He's <laughs> 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 looking at him like, what are you doing? Oh, did he bring change? Is that what she hears? <laughs> I feel like he is not very smooth. I can't believe he's not floating. Oh, he can definitely control it. He's talking? Yeah, I think they they were here for like a while, just chatting it up. How did she mess up the mission? She must have shot an innocent. But how does that explain her her eyesight? She let someone go, I bet. Yeah, she let somebody go. <laughs> Keeping him in check. Damn. Griyongpo is flustered. Oh, oh, higher rank than him? <laughs> Embarrassed. Oh shit, it's Gurgangpo. His partner. What? You're actually joking, are you? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna walk out of the room. <laughs> No books in between them this time. You guys are about to make ba bong suck. Oh, he's been on there the whole time, huh? Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's actually start to have a real connection. 
커피를 좋아하지 않아요? 나도 그렇습니다. They were both just drinking coffee every day or every time, not liking it. That means they're a match. Drinking more coffee. That's weird. Is this place called Nam Sa yeah. Donkatsu? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what the hell? That's what she makes, too. That's the name of her restaurant. <laughs> yeah. You just copy this place. Oh, her taste. She can just tell uh, what's in it. That's awesome. That's so good if you own a restaurant and make food. I wonder if it like feels different for her like when she just like touches things. Like does it just feel different to just I don't know. I don't know. Touch things? That's a that's a sense. I don't have her powers. Oh, the plane. It's the only time he's failed. I mean we sorta of got backstory on him. Okay, I feel like I know more more about this man than I did last episode. I'm starting to think he might be an informant, though. Like, if he was at that place, he would have been shot. That's crazy. So, he's suing... Bong suck. Their parents it's, know each other. Yeah, yeah. Partners. I guess they haven't run into each other yet, huh? Uh-uh. They both just own restaurants now. That's pretty cool that they know each other. I bet you Mihan would be much more willing to let Bong suck hang out with Hisu if he knew she knew who the father was. But I feel like vice versa, he and wouldn't want. I feel, I feel like she wouldn't want that, though, because she wants to keep Bong Suk away, f like as far away as possible from all of this. So I feel like if she found out that it was Gur Yongpo's daughter, she'd be like, nope, nope, never again. Ooh. I have a feeling this might be her eye case. Yeah, I'm almost positive it is. I don't know why she's not doing it though. Flashbang. She's gonna get flashed. That's how her eyes got fucked. Yeah, because her eyes are probably very sensitive or something. Yeah. Doesn't look very blind to me. Letting that dude go. Is that guy gonna be relevant, you think, or no? Oh gosh. Nobody saw her do that because they're all blind right now. Or I think I did she even have temporary blindness or is that just cap? Probably everyone else had it, so she had to say she did too. She looks, and I mean, the grenades had the name, like it said tear gas yeah. and flashbang. So she saw it, chose flashbang. Like she yeah. did that on purpose. She threw it and the guy literally said, that's not the right yeah, one. Yeah, I don't know why he kept his eyes open. <laughs> I guess all the uh, informants too didn't look at it. I, I just feel like not all of those people were informants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's still doing her job. What? Her job was to get close with him. Yeah, but the gig's up now. Is it? Yeah, he literally called her out and said, like, I know that this guy put you up to it. Mm. 
What did he do? He was the backup for that mission? So she let all those people go and he's supposed to take him out, but he also failed? Look at him in the- you see him in the air right there? Uh-huh. Oh, he saw what she did! He was a wit- he witnessed that. He fell for her here. Oh. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. When, that's when he fell for her. When he first laid eyes on her. Well, I think that was a much needed episode of backstory and just kind of clarification of how things went down back in the past. We obviously got to see how Bong Suk's parents met this episode. And yeah, it turns out that, yeah, what we thought was the case is true. They both worked for like this weird superhero power agency. And she was tasked with getting close with Dusik. And I mean, at the very end there, we saw that we saw both of the missions that they failed, which ended up being the same mission. The only reason Mihyun is alive right now is because of Dusik. I mean, he's quite literally her, her garden, guardian angel. Um, what is meant to be is meant to be. They're supposed to be together. They're supposed to have a child together. He saved her life. I mean, she's literally walking on her two legs because of him. He was aimed at her, could have pulled the trigger, didn't, and that's why they're meant to be. I mean, what an episode. We didn't even get to see our young fellas, Bong Suk, Hisu. Um, I miss Bong Suk's energy this episode for sure. This honestly felt like a completely different show. I mean, it was still really good, but I miss that giggly energy from Bong Suk. Yeah, I'm wondering if he genuinely fell for Mihyun there. I'm sure he did, but also like he saw her being empathetic towards the people that were supposedly double agents. So maybe he was like, I'm a double agent. Maybe this is the perfect girl to go for um, because maybe she'll like not, or she'll accept me learning about my true identity. If that is the case, if he is a double agent, assuming he is, but yeah, maybe like it was more calculated than it seems. I feel like it was like a re double reversal there at the end. It's like, she's been trying to like secretly go for him this whole time, but he actually knew what was happening the whole time. He knew, he called her out, said, Min set this up, I know. And yeah, he, the thing is, I don't think anyone knows he was at that mission besides Min, because he was the Eagle, which apparently no one knew who the Eagle was. And yeah, he didn't kill the people that left or anything. So I understand why they want to look deeper into that, because that is North Korean double agents getting away and he just let them go. So I don't know. I, I honestly hope they show more of like the past there, because I think it's very interesting seeing how everyone knows each other and stuff and i think it'll give a lot more context because a lot of the stuff in present day is a bit confusing i, just, I still am wondering why frank was sent sent out to kill all these people like mm -hmm. what have they done as far as we knew they're literally working like a government job they're they're trying to to do the right thing i'm pretty sure so hopefully we learn more about that in the future all right guys so that's pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all the moving reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social media as our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we will see you guys next time for episode 9 of moving peace out